Swell Dara Maher of uh, Credit Agricole, CIB, joins me now for more. Um, Dara, thanks for joining us. Uh, I suppose the euro, uh, just uh, on the back of what Sarah Eisen was saying about currencies, uh, is the focus uh, at the moment, and indeed that peripheral uh, debt crisis, uh, crisis in yeah. those peripheral countries. Um, how much does that weigh on the euro at the moment? Oh, well, massively is the short answer. Um, uh, I guess in, in a way the surprise perhaps is that the intensity of that story has just ebbed a little bit over the last couple of weeks. I think it was on the supposition that you know, policy would step in and take a more aggressive step to support it. We haven't had that, but mm. you know, what I'm a little bit surprised by, given that they haven't delivered, that we haven't had a slightly more panic re-enter the market. In, in a way, things become a little bit boring, but I think what, what it means for 2011 is that we have a story that plays out in a much more gradual fashion, um, but potentially therefore much more durable in terms of its direction. I think we, this could extend all the way into 2012 as, as a downside Euro story. Right. And we are hearing talk, more talk about uh, well, Allied Irish today and also the possibility yeah. of uh, restructuring of debt. Um, what effect would that have uh, on the Euro? Oh, I, th I think it would uh, certainly be in, in negative in the initial stages. I mean, one of the, one of the great problems here, of course, is, is not knowing what, what the extra ramifications are. We can all try and make a guess or an estimate about you know, what the ripple effects would be. Um, and restructuring is, is one option on the table. But, uh, you know, the, the impact on the banking sector might be so profound um, that I, I think people will hold off from this for now. But uh, if they were to go down that route, um, I think it would open up a can of worms for the financial sector and potentially for the euro if there wasn't some kind of offset to protect the banks from the, from the likely losses. Mm. Now, of course, when we uh, first talked about QE2, the idea was that it would, uh, it would indirectly devalue uh, the dollar. We haven't yeah. seen that happening largely because because of what's happened in Europe, but uh, moving forward, if there is more quantitative easing or, uh, in, in the US, uh, where does the dollar go next year? Um, well, I think I think slightly unfair to say it didn't have an impact on the dollar because I think where the impact was felt was in the run-up to the announcement. Of course, you know, by the time they actually said, "Look, we're, we're doing QE2," everybody said, "Well, come on, we knew that." But for, for the six months leading up to it, we had a lot of dollar weakness, and I think you know, if the numbers got very soft in the US again, we began to wonder about QE3 in the US, uh, then uh, the dollar would weaken, and uh, um, it, it would obviously constrain the downside by extension on euro that might be related to the peripheral story. <laughs> so there's definitely a relevance for QE3. I don't think, frankly, we're going to get it, um, but if we were to. To, then, then for sure it plays a dollar negative, but in anticipation of the announcement rather than thereafter. Okay, well, as it's nearly Christmas, I'm going to ask you, what do you think, uh, what, are, what are the top picks for the next year? Uh, which currencies do you see uh, retaining strength and growing? Retaining strength and growing, I, I still think the commodity currencies, although they're, they are quite rich and the air is a bit thin, I think they'll do well. Um, I think the flip side to them will be the likes of, of the Swiss franc in particular, which I think now has become very overvalued, uh, will be vulnerable. And then you'll have the mixed bag in the middle, uh, uh, where I would put sterling perhaps and some of the scandy. So um, perhaps something like Aussie yen would be the, uh, the big trade. I'm sure it's a fashionable one, but maybe some more esoteric ones like sterling Swiss upside, they, they might also feature. Dara Maher, thank you very much indeed you. for joining us.